The next act here is the Clarity Act. The whole purpose of the Clarity Act is to give clarity on what is a security versus a commodity. So they've created this whole entire framework of how you're able to identify whether or not a blockchain is sufficiently decentralized or mature. And depending on that, it'll be classified as one of these two. And they've even created a framework for current security blockchains that are more centralized to transition into a decentralized mature commodity. Now we don't know which blockchains are actually mature, but I went on ChatGPT three and asked it what it thought it was mature based on the clarity bill. And it said that Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Monero, Dogecoin, Tezos, and Cosmos are efficiently mature and decentralized. Now take this as you will. It also said that there are some other big names that might not qualify, but could soon, such as Solana, Cardano, Polkadot, BNB, and AVAX. Now, I personally think that Cardano is deficiently decentralized and mature. So just take this as you will. But depending on which blockchains are considered mature and commodities versus security, is going to have huge implications on that specific crypto and blockchain.